ever wake up and just lay in bed, mentally preparing yourself for all the things you have to do that day, but the more you think about getting up and doing it, the more uncomfortable your bed feels, especially when you just don't feel like doing it. <coughs> Wash day. <laughs> so you're trapped between what feels right in the moment and what you know will be right for your future. Because over time, if you teach yourself to become disciplined enough to get out of bed as soon as you wake up, or at least close to when you wake up, you will feel so much better about your days because you'll have enough time to get things done and enjoy your day. So something that helps me get out of bed quicker is literally saying out loud, I'm going to get up in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, then hopping up immediately on the 1. But be careful not to get up too fast or you may end up a little lightheaded like me here. <laughs> All right, now I'm going to start my day. And the first thing I have on my to-do list is to complete my wash day. And since it's spring now and the weather has become warmer, I have had to make a few changes to my hair care routine. So today I share with you my spring wash day routine. Okay, so I'm starting off on an old hairstyle I think I did about three days ago and I used a lot of gel to do it. So I have a lot of buildup and dried gel flakes in the front of my hair, which means I would definitely be using a clarifying shampoo today which has actually become my go-to for the spring and will be for the summer which I'll explain why later but speaking of shampoo let me quickly show you the new products I'll be trying out today this video isn't sponsored but curl mix did send me their new curl mix fresh kit for last month and this kit is called brown sugar baby <laughs> and it comes with a deep cleansing shampoo a detangling conditioner, an avocado moisturizer, and a flaxseed gel. And hopefully this brown sugar scent can take away this gross mixture of outside sweat and this old product smell my hair currently has because it's gross. Okay, now let's wash this hair, shall we? I love smelling new hair products. It's like getting a new scent of hair perfume. Mmm, baby. This definitely smells like brown sugar. See what I did there? Because it's called brown sugar baby. No, not funny. Okay. And brown sugar baby is thick too. Wait a sec. This is honestly the thickest shampoo I've tried and it looks super smooth. It almost has like a satin look to it. It almost reminds me of the consistency of my shampoo by Cream of Nature I used to use in the beginning of my natural hair journey. Hey, look at old Jess. Oh, how I've come a long way, child. I've come a long way. <laughs> So now that the weather is warmer and I have been working out more often, I sweat a lot more, which means my scalp sweats more, which I read on naturallycurly.com causes more buildup on my scalp, which then leads my scalp to become clogged, flaky, itchy, and over time unhealthy, which by the way, slows down the process of hair growth and health because a healthy scalp is the token to healthy growing hair. 
which is why I now mostly use a clarifying shampoo on my wash days because it's the best way I can make sure my scalp has been properly and deeply cleansed of all of its sweat products and oils and this shampoo actually works really well my scalp is definitely clean as you can see it was just pretty thick I would say I felt like it was so thick that it was kind of hard to distribute through my hair without having to use more of it because it would just be like one thick glob on an area of my hair but I did add a little water to it to help distribute it more and I also noticed it wasn't like the most suddiest sud sud suddy you know what I mean it didn't have like a lot of suds which I don't necessarily mind because if you didn't know fun fact more suds do not mean more cleansing power aka it doesn't mean more suds that's not equivalent to how much it cleans your hair it's just something brands add to shampoos to make it look more aesthetically pleasing and makes it seem like your hair is getting super clean but anyways Okay, now it's time for deep conditioning. Deep, deep conditioning. JK, it's canceled. It's over. I hate deep conditioning. I wish I never ever did it. I'm just kidding. Uh, I very much despise that word canceled. So I don't subscribe to that and do not use that. But for the spring and summer, I won't be needing my deep conditioner as much, which means woohoo, shorter wash days um at least for me because you guys know i wash my hair weekly but i say this because after doing some research i found that warm air holds more moisture so the humidity is higher which is the reason why our hair tends to puff up more and frizz up more in the summer that also means that your hair doesn't need as much moisture as often as it did in the winter because when air was colder which contains less water causing the humidity to be lower so instead of deep conditioning weekly I have just started to deep condition bi-weekly. So for example, I'll use a regular conditioner for this week's wash day, as you can see, and then next week's wash day, I'll use a deep conditioner, and then I'll repeat the same pattern. Now this conditioner caught me by surprise with how thick it was and uh, the noodle-like consistency. <laughs> it's only doing this because just like the shampoo, it is super thick almost to the point where you probably should have been a bigger whatever you call that pump like because it was just so thick that's why i was coming out like that this is their thickest conditioner i have used um from them and maybe from any brand like i'm just talking regular conditioner it's so thick it actually feels like it could be a deep conditioner which is interesting Oh, Moses. <laughs> oh my god. The 
this stuff is good. All right, so the great thing about just using a regular conditioner is that you don't have to leave it in. And this really feels like a deep conditioner. I almost have to forget that I didn't have to leave it in and it was a regular conditioner because of how good it feels. Really, really good. Okay, so as you may or may not know, my go-to hairstyle is a wash and go. But I did try quite a few protective styles last fall and winter, which I'm actually pretty proud of myself for. But as soon as it started to get warm again, I forgot all about protective styles because honestly, styling your hair can be unpredictable in the warmer weather. Because of the humidity, until you find the perfect product and or product combo, to withstand the humidity and I just didn't feel like spending time doing a whole twist out or braid out and then looking like a whole poodle as soon as I stepped outside of my whole house JK my whole apartment um, but <laughs> but it has been a while since I've done a protective style eh? and I honestly have been tired of having my hair out and on my face, so I decided I would do a quick and simple braid out. Inspired by... Oh, and the moisturizer and gel were pretty similar to the other moisturizers and gel that Curl Mix has. Um, I would say maybe the moisturizer was a tad bit thicker, but overall, like their moisturizers and gels are, it was super moisturizing and defining, but just with a brown sugar scent. Oh, excuse me, a brown sugar baby scent. Okay. <laughs> And I am finally done. Man, that feeling of relief and accomplishment you feel after completing a wash day is like no other. And also, I'm super satisfied with how this style turned out. Way better than I thought. And the braids, they are so shiny and healthy looking. But all right, I'm going to film my week. I'm going to go through the next couple of days and I'll film that. What I do to my hair, night routine, how I style it. But that'll be in another video, which is going to be a week in my hair. But in this video, I'm just going to fast forward and I will meet you back here in the bathroom in a couple of days to take these babies out. <laughs> Okay, it's four days later and I can't take it anymore. I gotta get these freaking braids out of my freaking hair. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I just honestly wanted to rock the braid out for the weekend, but they still look pretty good as you can see for the most part. I definitely could have kept them in for another week or so if I really wanted to. If I just wanted to keep my braids in, I'll probably keep them in for up to two weeks max because 
my scalp is spoiled and she can't take just not being shampooed or cleansed for more than two weeks. Oh, and I already applied some oil to my scalp and my hands. So let's just see how this turns out. All right, now I'm going to just separate them. I'm pretty sure you guys already know this, but the more you separate it, the more volume you'll have, the more voluminous your hair will be, and the less you separate it, the more defined your hair will be, but it'll be like flatter and not have much volume. So it just depends on your personal preference, but I decided to just go crazy with the separation and like magic, you see the volume and you see the other side <laughs> big difference and if you want it even more volume you could also pick your hair out but because I know my hair just gets bigger every day so I just like to not make it too big because like I said I know that it'll get bigger on its own I still like a little definition so yeah that's just me though everybody's different you could style your hair however you want to but that's just how I like it also, I decided to just give me some like fake bang fringe looking situation here. I really, really love the fringe bangs type of looks that's currently in right now, but I'm not super convinced enough to actually get my hair cut. So I just kind of do my own like fake way to look like I have kind of a fringe situation going on here. And also it's a great style for me to, to get my hair out of my face because I have been wearing my hair to the side, to my right side for a while and my right side of my face has a lot more acne than my, the left side of my face because my hair is always on that right side of my face. So I'm starting to give my hair a break, which is also another reason why I wanted to do the protective style because I wanted to give my hair a break of just not being on my face because I'm trying to get the right side of my face cleared up. But my spring wash day naturally curly hair routine is complete if you watched until the end i would love to know and let me know that by commenting Ooh, this will be fun comment how long you have been natural pretty much so how many years or months or weeks or days i'll start i've been natural for eight years now but anyways thanks for watching much love and i will see you in my next video